Strength is by far the best type of build in Elden Ring, and this is the reason why. Let's go. I can't see him anymore. This, is this actually doesn't do that much damage. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. <laughs> this is so unnecessary, guys. There are three rules to this challenge. We can only level up our strength stat, we have to crush all the major bosses, and we gotta do it in style, by changing up our weapons on most major boss fights. The idea is to showcase a variety of setups and to see which one can bonk the hardest. With that said, it's time to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and hear the lamentation of their women. I've overused Ultra Greatswords and Fist Weapons, so I'm not gonna be using those two. And since we are Conan, I think Axes are gonna be appropriate. Axes, guys, Axes is gonna be the way. Uh, the finger we're gonna use. Uh, I'll use the ringed finger so I can finger Renala. That's basically the, the extent of my comedy here, guys. There are three goals I want to accomplish together with this challenge. First, I want to play around with the beach chill incantations a bit to see how they perform on a pure strength build, while utilizing the Synchui... Synchui Deta? Synchui Yeda? which buffs the damage of set spells. Second, I want to create the ultimate dual wielding strength build that just melts bosses down into specks of dust. And third, I want to try to make a decent, high damage critical attack build focused around the Executioner's Great Axe. But we gotta crawl before we can run. For now, we go and obliterate some bosses and collect their death roots respectively. With them, we swing by our boy Malekev to grab ourselves the Clawmark Seal, as well as the Bestial Sling Incantation, which will be our first offensive spell. Finally, we go collect both the Ash of War Golden Vow and the Axe Talisman, which is the most important talisman by far on any strength build. Enough talk, it's Margit time. Margit gets stoned, my friend. How much is the damage? That is actually pretty good damage. That is actually a horrible dodge. <laughs> that is very good damage, actually. That is a shotgun level of damage. That's pretty good damage for a dagger, though. We simply don't have the faith. Okay, Margit got staggered with Bestial Sling. Very interesting. Very nice. Very fun. For everyone who has been asking me to do a Bestial Incantation only run, this is basically how that run would look like. We would just be slinging rocks at people. Bro, Margit, 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 Margit. We, we need to calm down. We can talk about this. That was so bad. Let me actually upgrade it once or twice. Rock his world, oh my god, I'm so bad today fighting Margit, what is happening? To be fair, Margit is actually one of the most complicated bosses in the game. <laughs> he really is. Nah, nah, nah. I need a stagger Miyazaki. How many hits does it take? I swear to god, he's getting more resistant to staggers each and every second. For the love of Christ. Let's go! Almost that I need to be very careful. Let's go! Jesus. Good fight. Alright, that was the first weapon that I wanted to show his Bestial Sling. Oh, by the way, YouTube tells me only about 16% of you are subscribed. So if you enjoy these types of Souls challenges, Dark Souls and Elden Ring alike, please do consider subscribing. It does help me out a lot. Thanks. And uh, we're actually gonna grab the Lord Vader. What's up? We're gonna grab the 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 the, the, the double D's, uh, the anchor, because the anchor is actually pretty good. And we're gonna try it out with a spear talisman. It's gonna be fun. The anchor is here behind the boss fight, right? Once we get the the rock that we can throw with these spells, then we're gonna be in good shape. Because currently, Bestial Sling is really more of a PvP spell than it's a PvE spell. It really is more of a PvP spell at all. But what? Unga Bunga run, exactly. Though we are getting to the Unga Bunga slowly but surely. First rust rusted anger and then we're gonna do with other things. Let's go beat up our boy Godric. Now we have a spiky axe filled with corals. Oh! That's a lot of damage. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> Prime laps with your four wins. Charge attack. Bam! Break his knees. And break his face. This thing must very much hurt when you get hit by it. Unironically, who would have thought? A massive spiky hammer. Jesus, would be very good in this game. Godric, my boy, you have zero chance. Bow down to the true lord. <laughs> Why did I get stuck there? Okay, you can't jump after that for some reason. I wanted to say welcome to the Badlands, but then I got absolutely wrecked by Godric. Break his face again. Smack. Why is he laughing and he gets poised broken, by the way? That is very weird. 
How is he alive? Okay, 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 okay. The fact that he was alive with like a pixel of health is insulting. GG though, good fight. Godric's great rune. Go back to round table, buy runags, buy smithing stones, and let's see what the next weapon is. We should, we could, we could go finger and Nala. That is a thing we can do. Where does Toto get the ringed finger? Gelmir Hero Grave. From the first chariot hallway, head all the way down as the path ends. You will need to continue down across the lava and turn left at the end of the path to find a room with a chest containing the weapon. It's gonna be a problem with low HP, actually. Over here. Oh my god. God fucking damn it, chariot. Okay, let's do this slowly but surely. Oh shit. No! Why you have a fast attack? Why? Goddamn low HP. Guys, what the hell was that? No! That's <laughs> so close. A quick step to victory, boys. I love how the this weapon gets its own unique room, guys. That's actually kind of interesting. I think there is a reason why this weapon gets its own unique room. All right, let's go finger and Allah. Okay, Red Wolf. I actually need to focus now. You can jump this. And then you can finger his ass. That came out wrong. Or did it? Oh, he's retaliating. He does not like the finger. Bro, you need to get some anger treatment. What is happening? This is why I hate the Red Wolf. Multiple reasons. His arena is goddamn annoying. He's casting goddamn magic. The last thing I ever expected in these games was a magic wielding dog. Die! Good riddance. Goodbye. Finally. Jesus Christ. I used to hate Radagon before. Now I hate his goddamn dog. And now we finger her properly. Bam! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Okay, let's go! Best weapon against Renala that I ever used, guys, honestly. Jesus Christ. That was so funny. Alright, fingering accomplished. GG. Let's go. Alright, I wanted to use double battle hammer for Adan, and I still think that's the thing that I want to use here. We're gonna be needing to farm, so we need to kill the DTS. But what weapon do we use against the DTS? Let's actually go Watchdog Staff. Located the Road and Catacombs in Lyurnia. Where is the Road and Catacombs? I don't think it was something big, though. Ah, Watchdog Staff. Okay. That is the weapon for DTS, I think. It's not really a strength weapon, but it kind of is, because it's a massive staff that you bonk, bonk people with it. Buff. Playing Grant me PP. We give him a good smack. We give him another 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 good smack. And we smack him again, and now we run. Now we run. Now we run. Now we need to find an opening. How do we attack you? I want to land one Epinar here. There we go. What's the damage? Pretty good damage. Oh, he's still alive. Die! GG. Unfortunately, wasn't able to showcase the weapon art properly, but... DTS is the bastard. Let's go. I need Rose Sacks for Malikith and... Uh, Malikith. For Goldfree and Morgoth. That's what I need. Weapon is gonna be on Heavy Infusion. Yeah, all of them. This one is not because... Oh my god, Miyazaki! How did I forget that? Uh, what do I want to see? It's a Richard Dragon 40 stacks. Did you see the meme that I posted in the Discord? That meme is great. Like, it's not my meme. Meme, obviously, but the meme is great. Bam. This can't be serious. These guys are so random. How are you alive? Can I get a break, Miyazaki? Rosa X is not here. Where is Rosa X? Wait, there's no way Rosa X is not here. Am I stupid? Black Knight Catacombs, Toto. <laughs> Why did I think it's the Windham Catacombs? And that is our beautiful Rosa X. What's up, Joffrey? Can we land one here? Definitely can. How much do we take to break your poise? That is the question. That strafing mechanic on Godfrey is always a saving grace. Because otherwise it would be very hard to land any attacks on him. Can I land one more? There we go, baby. Rosu Sex. Broken. GG. Disappear into the wind, my friend. Goodbye. That's the last talisman pouch.
I haven't really talked about the talisman and physic I use for these types of damage outputs, because it primarily boils down to these things right here. Depending on the situation and your playstyle, they can be swapped out at will. If you like doing jumping attacks, the claw talisman is for you. If you find yourself staggering your enemies often, the dagger talisman got you covered. The physic is best slotted with both the stone barb and the spike tears, for extra poise and charged attack damage. The only thing I would say is essential would be the axe talisman and spike tear, as charged attacks are already pretty broken by themselves, so buffing them up just makes them way too nasty. Before we continue on our quest to smack all of the bosses into submission, we gotta do some farming for two specific items. The Battle Hammer, which can be farmed of the Duelist just outside of the Leandel Colosseum, and the Executioner's Great Axe, which can be farmed of the Skeletons near the Church of Irif in Leonia. Now, let me show you the power of two thick Battle Hammers in action. Radan, charge! Nope, nope, charge, come on! Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Literally breaking his kneecap right now. Do the attack. There we go. Literally jump him into submission, guys. He's dead. Alright, that was way easier than I initially anticipated, honestly. Uh, yeah, strength is broken, guys. Honestly. Uh, Intelligence is the best stat when it comes to like easeability of the game. Strength is a close second. This is a plus 12 weapon, by the way, guys. Next up, Morgoth. Uh, let's go murder some omen killers. Volcano Manor and Perfumer's Grotto, right? Oh! Jesus Christ. Well, that was a fast boss fight at the end of the day. Fantastic. That's one great omen killer, omen killer cleaver. That is impossible for me to pronounce. Great omen killer cleaver. Jesus Christ. Where is the omen killer even? I know there are dogs over here, so I need to be careful. Oh, there you are. Come here, you bastard. <laughs> Why did I expect anything else? Wh Why are you here? Where did the goddamn lizard come from? Goddamn Jeff Bezos creeping up on me. Very interesting situation right now. My fuck! Where did the lizard come from? He should be dead though. And he is. Great Omen Killer Cleaver. Let's go, boys. Bam. So, before we start jumping on his head, we need to repost him. So we shackle, charge attack. Charge attack again. Charge attack again. He staggers here. We go immediately into this. Hopefully he doesn't bleed. He bleeds, unfortunately. Can we bleed him again? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not perfect, but he's definitely deader than dead. Bleed on a strength weapon is just a little bit too strong, Morgoth. A little bit too strong. What against Rykard? Uh, you'll see. Rykard is gonna literally disappear. Like, it's gonna, gonna be in, in funny. Like, we're actually gonna do Rykard before Fire Giant. This is more important. Probably the strongest Ash of War in the game. When you ask me, especially for a strength build. What's your guy's favorite food? Mine is pizza, man. Pizza and pasta. Let's see if this is gonna work now. Are we doing them? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is what I expected. That is what I basically expected, guys. And bye bye! <laughs> okay, I need to be very careful with Rykar. Rykar can kill you very fast. Well, Rykar is dead. He chose the wrong attack, guys, actually. Yeah, he, ch he chose the wrong attack, guys. He literally just chose the wrong attack. And now he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rykar, for dying that easily. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Pete, Pete, Pete! Pete, Pete! There we go. Pete have been popped, guys. Feet have been popped. Let's go. Uh, if you ever have trouble with Rykard, just do this. Lance, one hand, RKR, and uh, Serpent Hunter. GG. Alright. Let's go to the mountaintops. Now. How do we deal with Fire Giant? Basically just charge attacks and he should be dead. Dodge! We need good RNG from this guy. If he doesn't give us good RNG, he's gonna be very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, the, the smacking of this weapon is insane. I forgot Royal Knight's result. I know I forgot something. There, we break his kneecaps. Jeez, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, guys. This is why this is called the Giant Crusher, guys. This is why this thing is called the Giant Crusher. This is beyond stupid repost damage. And bam. That is very bad damage, though. Nice. One more hit. Should be dead here. There we go. GG. Hit. Nice. Good job, guys. Good teamwork. Yeah, the fact that this thing has literally Lion's Claw built into it just makes it so good to use. God damn it, chat. Again, I'm reading the chat and then fucking chain link. Let's go kill the boss in Radan Castle. That is what we need to do. Uh, yeah, the other one only comes in after. <laughs> well, 1v1 boss fight it is. What a fight, guys. That was definitely a clean death. You could not you could not get a more honorable death, guys, honestly. There's no way. Ruins greatsword, and it is going to ruin some lives, definitely. Dexterity sucks. The best dexterity weapon in this game is a strength weapon, by the way. Wave of destruction time, boys. Wave of destruction. And Inga Magic Boonga. Unga Magic Boonga. Unga Magic Boonga. Magic Unga Boonga definitely works, guys. How did the hell am I actually fighting these guys? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, come on! That is bullshit. I got hit twice. Alright, we're not actually gonna fight. I'm not gonna use the sword. But, um, yeah, Wave of the Suction is pretty good, I would guess. Uh, let's go Nial. That That's one guy I do need to fight. Bam! Uh, now he has to recover after that, right? He has to recover here, so we can smack him around. He has insane poise, by the way. There we go. We repost. There's nothing you can do, my boy. There's nothing you can do. The power is overwhelming. I mean, literally, my Ash of War is called Wave of Destruction. It's like a Warcraft 3 spell. Nope. Shield poke. Okay, no. Crouch poke, not shield poke. <laughs> GG. Good fight. This is a pretty good no-hit weapon, honestly. Let's actually go grab the other medallion, then let's go to Crumbling Fair Mazula. I need to grab the rest of the smithing stones. The amount of smithing stones needed for a run like this is absolutely insane. That one is slept. Smack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a lot of damage. That is a serious damage amount, guys. Jesus. Jesus saved their souls. We are literally just a jumping attack simulator at this point. It's crazy. The, the damage amount of jumping attacks is crazy in this game. I feel like power stancing jumping attacks are just a little bit broken in this game, guys. You get staggered here? Oh, but you die. No, but you die. <laughs> yeah, strength builds are a little bit stupid, guys. It's not like brain that does with intelligence where you actually need to you actually need to dodge a couple of attacks, but are pretty powerful. They're not even fully upgraded, like not even close. Alright, Malekev time, right? Let's actually go for Malekev. I think that's a good idea. Uh, but I do want this thing for Malekev, and that we need runes. This thing has 115 critical damage, so it's going to do massive damage on critical hits. Like serious damage is gonna do on critical hits. Let's go. Bait out the one attack. Up. Up, up. Charge attack, that's pretty good damage. Bam. No stamp. I want to actually rebuff Crackblade if I can, but I think we're not going to be able to. He's not staggered, so stagger damage has been built up on him, so it's going to be interesting to see how phase 2 is going to go. Charge. Charge again. He didn't break his poise. That breaks his poise, though. And a critical GG. Well played.
pretty good weapon actually, but we need to try it out more definitely. Uh, and it actually try it against Gothry. Gothry is going to be a good way to try it out. We're going to try it also against Malekith as well. Oh, not Malekith against Malenia. But alas, alas. None shall take the throne. Critical damage. Smack. And GG. <laughs> Does Godfrey even know that Marika is Radagon and Radagon is Marika? Actually, I have no idea if he knows that. Smack. That's a lot of damage. Press the wrong button. I, I actually fell asleep there, guys, honestly. That actually screwed me. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't charge there. God damn it. Come on, Godfrey. What the f*** was that? Like, I'm seriously amazed. What? Now we need to land some hits. And GG. What? What is that magic pixel of health? Okay, yeah, we can punish this here. Okay. You managed to stagger him faster this time. 4,000 repost damage. That is wild. Oh my god, where did I summon? Nope. Rock attack. Throw a rock. <laughs> Always remember to roll into his attacks, trust me. Thank you later for that one. Thank god, GG, good fight. Oh my god. Counter damage actually saved me there. If he wasn't actually in an attack animation, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have died there. That was actually very much lucky. But good fight, man. Axe of Godfrey. This is actually a pretty good skill, by the way, but not for PvE. This takes way too long to land in any boss fight. There's no way you're landing that ever. Maybe against the Elder Beast, but. Look at this, like, when are you ever gonna land this in a boss fight? Maybe this, okay, this, this, is, this is possible to land in a boss fight, but it's gonna be a difficult thing to fight uh, Radha Beast with this, with this weapon. Alright, Prelate Hammer, right? Prelate Hammer and Lion's Claw is what is needed. How do you engage somebody who spits fire from his forehead? Like, how do I... Shit! Flame Monk! Flame Monk! Flame Monk! Flame Monk! GG! No play. Christ almighty, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, he smacked me with the head! He smacked me with the head! Jesus Christ, this guy's... This guy's insane! This guy's crazy! Oh my god. Prelate Inferno Koji, let's go. Oh, that is a absolute fail, Miyazaki. Oh, that's a stagger. She did hit me, though. Let's stagger again. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think this might be one of the better weapons to like do a all remembrance as no hit run, guys. My god, is this thing powerful. I barely saw an attack right there. Alright. For Malenia, I do want to actually use... Uh, where is it? Where is my beautiful blade? Executioner. Heavy great axe. Because I think it's going to be the best. No! I pivoted! Your streamer is not that bad at this game, guys. Your streamer is not... No! What? Wait, what? No! <laughs> Scratch my face. What the hell? The rebel of steel. Why did I do that? So many punish windows here. Oh, god damn it. Jump! No, what the hell? Why did you go to the right? No! What are you fucking idiot? Like, you just need to dodge the attack! I get it. I hate waterfall. I think I'm gonna stop playing Elden Ring, guys. <laughs> no, why did I kill? What? Like, what do you do in this situation, guys? <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, it definitely is the hardest boss from from software has ever made. Like within the context of the game, she's by far the hardest. Mm. I don't like one aspect of this weapon. <clears throat> the follow-up part one is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't like that follow-up. Like when you do R, like when you do a rolling R one and then an R one after. This follow-up is so bad. Like it has no tracking. Just cannot follow her attack at all. It's very bad. Please don't waterfall. Yeah, this is death sentence. 
just the death sentence, man. Finally a good run. Shit. GG! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. 23 deaths, I think, guys. Alright. Let's finish the run. Last weapon for this run is the abhorrent Godfrey's Great Axe. The thing is, how do we approach this idiot? Can we do a charge? What is that damage? That is the first damage that I've ever seen in my life. This has to be a joke, right? Okay, it at least breaks his poise. What is that abhorrent damage? Bro, this is Godfrey's axe. I'm dead. Because fucking teleporting bullshit. Okay, this axe is so bad. Godfrey's axe has to be the biggest disappointment I've seen since the release of the Hobbit trilogy by Peter Jackson. A colossal axe with a C scaling in strength and it does that piss amount of damage. A toddler would be able to dish out more damage with his hot fields than this piece of shit. Until this thing gets buffed, the only damage it will be able to deal is emotional damage to its user. The axe is holding him back, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why Godfrey gets rid of the axe, guys. That is why Godfrey gets rid of the axe. The axe is actually garbage. That actually now makes sense. Guys, do you know what we could do? We don't need two giant crushers. We are overloaded. <laughs> okay, we can go heavy load. Oh, okay, guys. All right, bonk time. Bonk time, boys. Double, we're gonna go double Royal Knights Resolve. I don't think we're gonna have the time to buff for Eld- Oh my god, how are we looking like, boys? <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. I can't see him anymore. <laughs> this, is this actually doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. <laughs> if only I had a little bit more stamina, guys, honestly. Bonk. Double bonk. Stamina is a definite issue, guys. There we go, break his goddamn tail. Smack! Finish the run in style, boys. And GG! <laughs> there we go, let's go. Don't make this build, guys. This is not a good build. This is not the best way to use these hammers, but it's fun. It's, it's kind of funny.